Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you enjoyed the last video. Today we will start taking apart the BMW TII engine. But first of all, we need to swap these two out so that we get the new engine on the stand and the old one out of the garage. Stay tuned. Unfortunately, the camera stopped working, but as you can see, we took the clutch off and that is just hold on by the by six bolts, normal 30 millimeter. And also it has these steering pins. And now when they are a bit rusty, you need to give it a bit of a helping hand with the hammer, but not hard, but gently you, you push it around and it will come loose. And now we need to take all these bolts off and put it on the stand. But you don't need to think about anything special, this is just to take them off. And when taking something like this off, it's very important to have, well it's not important, but it's, it makes the job much more easier if you have an air gun. You can buy these basically anywhere and uh, you can also buy them electrical. And they are a bit more cheap, so if you are on budget, then that's the one to go for. But it will make the job much more easier. Yes, and now it's on. And also, my dog wanted to visit. <laughs> yes, now it's on, and we can begin doing some proper work. And just uh, when you do something like this, make sure that all of the bolts are properly attached. And uh, I had to use some improvised uh, distances because uh, I have an old stand. So, yeah, if you buy a new one, the, the stance will yeah, 
be prepared, but mine isn't, so yeah, we need to improvise, but this will do. So now we can start by taking the manifold off and the, the intake, but to remove the intake we need to take off all these four plastic tubes, but we, I think we need to apply some heat, because if we don't, I think they will probably crack, so we'll yeah, be careful and apply, apply some heat and we will see how it goes. Yeah, here we go. First look inside the engine. We'll see how it looks. Ah, it seems to be looking quite okay. Some soot caught, caught up in there, but that's normal. Yeah, and now we will go ahead and take these off. I have, as you could, as you saw, I have, have been spraying these with the WD-40. So apply some heat now and we'll try to get them off. We managed to pull all of the four plastic tube off so, and for the look of it, it <laughs> you can see that it's yeah, definitely dirty. The engine had been standing for God knows how long, but uh, the important thing is that it has been intact and no one has done anything bad to it. So. But everything looks good and uh, at least we have gotten something done tonight but the yes job well done yes this will be it for this episode thank you guys so much for watching if you enjoyed the video press the like button it really means a lot to me that i see that you enjoy this stuff and until next time have a good one